Hey guys! Welcome back, fellow readers. Bookworm Reader here. So today's video is going to be a book review on the Christmas scrapbook by Philip Goley. Now, for you guys who have seen previous videos, you guys will know that I am not a huge fan of Christmas. I don't like Christmas. Like, I don't really like this time of year because I've had very bad memories around Christmas time, so I really don't like Christmas. So when I finished this book and actually enjoyed it, like reading the book, I was actually really surprised. I have other Christmas books on my TBR right here. Like you guys can see, this is going to be my like my TBR stack. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull a book off a shelf, and unless I bought it from the library, and I'm going to stick it right here, and this is going to be my TBR for the month. Anyway, I have a couple other Christmas books here, but uh, I just... I don't know, like, I picked up this book and I mainly thought the cover was, like, really, really pretty. Like, it looks like, it's just really, really pretty. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Not thinking I was gonna like it, but I really love it. I definitely, like, if you're looking for a holiday read, like, a Christmas read for this month, de I definitely recommend, like, or, like, any time around Christmas time, I definitely recommend a Christmas scrapbook. Um, I loved it and... I think one of the main reasons why I liked it so much is because I actually kind of like in a way related to one of the characters um because they're at one point bit of a spoiler at one point uh the main character's wife thinks that he's dying from a disease and I actually have lost a couple people around this time of year so it makes it really really hard on me and so oh my daughter said woke up hopefully she'll go back to sleep she hasn't been sleeping long anyway but so I was able to relate to that you know and the you know the possibility of losing a loved one but kind of find out he's not actually dying he I guess I'll just kind of explain the book for you guys that want to read it, spoiler alert, just fair warning. Um, so pretty much it's about this uh, guy who he decides for a Christmas present he wants to make his wife a scrapbook. And so every Wednesday he goes to a scrapbooking class. And so his wife doesn't get suspicious and figure out what he's doing for her for Christmas. Decides to tell her that he's going to a men's group, like a men's support group. And he actually ends up getting kicked out of the scrapping class because he's like a hazard or whatever because he super glues his hands to his head or to his hair and he has to go get his head shaved and um so he's a big he has scrap class and then his secretary he's a pastor by the way his secretary for like the his church or whatever um offers to help him and like his wife tells Frank, which is his secretary at his at the church, that she thinks he's dying from a disease and every Wednesday she thinks he's going to um get treatment because he doesn't really like talk about what he does on Wednesday. All he says is he's going to a men's group and he finds out that or his wife finds out that there's no like men's group in the area. So she is really suspicious and thinks that he's going that he's slowly dying. If you guys can hear her, she's crying. I'm sorry if you guys can hear her. Thinks that he's dying, and so every Wednesday he's going to get treatment to try and um, cure whatever he has so he can live, so that maybe he can be cured of what he has and he won't die. But, and so, like, his secretary helps him because he thinks that he's not going to live much longer. Well, the secretary does, and everybody in town thinks that he's got some kind of disease and thinks he's not going to live much longer. And... Like, so everybody in the town, like, starts being really, really nice to him. And he just sums it up to, you know, be around the Christmas season. Because, you know, everybody's, like, caring and um, more generous around the Christmas season. And so he just, he doesn't think much of it. And then at the end, towards the end of the book. Um, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about the guys. She was just, like, really loud for a few minutes. And I didn't want to, like... As I said, she's just gonna. But anyway, towards the end of the book, be right back. All right, guys, I'm just gonna have to push through the crying because otherwise, I'm not gonna get this grade. 
So if you guys can hear in the background, I'm really, really sorry. But towards the end of the book, he gives the scrapbook to his wife and explains the whole thing to her. Like, no, I wasn't going to a men's group. I was taking a scrapbooking class so that I could finish this for you. And she loves it. It was the best present she had, like, ever had besides, you know, being able to lay next to him and know that he was okay. But, like I said, I gave this book a five star. It is definitely going to be on my favorite books of the year video or in my favorite books of the year video so yeah I like I said I really really love this book and it's definitely like if you also if you're looking for like an easy read around this time of year like a Christmas story around this time of year and looking for an easy read this is definitely it I finished it in a day like I had to sit down a couple times because I started reading it at the library and then my daughter got upset because she wanted to come home because she wanted lunch and so, but I was able to finish it. You would pretty much say I was able to finish it within one sitting just because I'm not counting, like, because I got mostly through it there then, and then I just had to finish it while she was taking a nap when we got home after I gave her lunch. But it is actually 89 pages. On Goodreads, it says it's, like, 96, but I think that's because it's counting other things that aren't in this book, but I don't think it would actually cut off. like cut it off or whatever but um also in the process of him doing all this he becomes super weak because he's been working long hours and trying to get the scrapbook done and so he starts looking like he's feeling sick he breaks his foot and doesn't get to go like and doesn't think he gets to see like the progressive nativity scene that they do every year for christmas and a bunch of the people from his church uh show up with a wheelchair and he gets to go around in a wheelchair to see the progressive nativity and so, but like I said, it's definitely an easy read. Like, it's 89 pages. Like, this version of it, I think there might be, like, an extended version of it. Or, like, a version of it that has, like, an extra, like, few pages. Maybe, like, author notes and questions or whatever. And... But, yeah. And... He does write other, uh, Philip Goley does write other, like, Christmas stories, and I didn't see any others by him. Actually, I think I might have seen one other one by him, but I put it back because I was like, eh, I don't want, like, a ton of Christmas stories this year. Uh, well, I don't want a bunch of stuff on my TBR, because as you guys saw when I did my TBR video, you guys saw that I already had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books on my, t on my TBR, and I've already finished three of them, and it's, like, what day? It's only the 6th of December, and I've gone through four of them, but that's because four, three of them. Four of them? Three of them. Three of them, but that's only because, uh, the, uh, the three that I've gone through are, like, super easy reads, and they're, like, this one's, like I said, this one's 89 pages, the other two are, like, 118, so I was able to finish them in one sitting. I'm really sorry, guys, if you can hear her. Like, I'm trying to get her to sit, go back down for, like, go back to sleep because she is trying to take up. Anyway, but that is today's video. And, like I said, definitely look out for this on my favorites of the year challenge, on the favorite, favorites of this year video. So, until next time, readers, read on, readers.